Welcome to our lecture online. Now that we know how to find the length of a line segment in three-dimensional three space, we're now ready to find the equation of a sphere in three-dimensional space. So let's assume that the center of the sphere is located at x sub naught, y sub naught, z sub naught. Those are the x, y, z coordinates of the center. And then let's define any point on the sphere as having coordinates x, y, and z, where, of course, x, y, and z can take on any values as long as those values place it right on the surface of the sphere. R would be the radius of the sphere. Now, we know that the equation that we used before for a line segment is simply equal to the square root of the difference of the x, y, and z coordinates squared of each of the three directions, of course. So we take the x coordinates of the endpoints, we take the difference between those x coordinates, and we square that. We take the difference of the y coordinates, and we square it. We take the difference of the z coordinates, and we square it. That's the exact same technique we're going to use for the sphere, except, of course, that x2 and x1 now become x and x up naught. x is the coordinate of the point on the sphere, and x up now is the coordinate of the center of the sphere. So we do that for the three directions. We square the differences, we add them together, we take the square root, and that will be equal to the length of the line segment, which of course in this case is equal to the radius of the sphere. Then if we square both sides and rearrange the terms a little bit, this will then become the equation of a sphere in three-dimensional space, where x up not, y up not, z up not are simply the x, y, and z coordinates of the center of the sphere, and x, y, and z are simply the directions x, y, and z in three-dimensional space. As an example, if the radius is 5 and the center is located at 7, 8, and negative 4, to find the equation of that, we simply plug the x, y, and z coordinates of the center into the equation, and then, of course, we take the radius squared on the other side, the equal sign, and that will then give us the equation of that particular sphere. That's how it's done. Once we know the, the uh, equation of the line segment, it's easy to come up with the equation of the sphere in three-dimensional space.